Pioneer cassette mechanism from a uh, <clears throat> model SK-71 boombox. Uh, this is the disaster of the day. Disaster du jour. <clears throat> uh, this had to be totally disassembled uh, for <clears throat> a reason I'll get into in a minute. Uh, the caution on this is one of the most complicated uh, single uh, direction play decks you're ever going to want to or not want to work on. Uh, th to get the part out that has to be fixed require the entire play area to be disassembled. And to do that, start like I did with the Sharp Mech, taking a picture, a lot of different pictures of the mechanism as it was being disassembled and then labeling all the parts in the order I took them out. In other words, this was the first thing I took out. That's number one and two, and three, four, five. As you go on, put them in separate bags. Every washer, every clip ring, every E-ring, every washer, everything is uh, labeled and noted on the papers. And if you don't do that, you're never going to get it back together. Trust me, I know. Done, been there, done that. Anyway, getting this totally down and disassembled like this, when we're able to see the problem. <clears throat> this is the uh, head uh, loading assist assembly, which loads the head when you push the play button. This moves the head up to the play position. What happens to this is this cracks right here. And this is, again, part of the problem with nylon. No one ever dreamed these things would be around for 30 years. And uh, a microscopic shrinkage causes these to become very tight on the shaft. And something's got to give. And the steel's not going to give, so the nylon cracks. That, in turn, lets the uh, center shaft get loose and pull back. This gear, this large gear here, with the eccentric... This is what loads the head assembly into the play position. You can see it's got a, it's oblong or eccentric, as they call it. That will is able to slip backwards because this can no longer grab the shaft, and that is supposed to ride on this little wheel right here. And when it gets too loose, it falls behind this wheel and it can't load the thing into the play position. In order to fix this thing, there's one way that I know of, and that is to once this thing's apart, once this is out of the machine, you can pull this part here off here, like that, then take off this little uh, flexible clip like that, then this part will come out, this, this little gear will come out, then what you want to do is push this thing, with this thing out, you would want to do what's called tinning, Pull it out of here like this, and then pull the shaft, pull the shaft uh, all the way out. Note on the shaft before you pull it out that there is a line on this that to, for the, for the, to keep the the uh, little E ring on, and it's right there. You want to make sure this is not equidistant uh, between one side and the other. You want to make sure it goes back in the right way. Take the shaft all the way out of here. And what you want to do is rough. I'm going to push this through just to make it easier to see it. That's not supposed to push through that easy. And right on here, rough this end up and tin it with a little solder. Then solder a little tiny washer, a steel washer, on the top of this bar, on the top of the steel bar. Then when it's pushed back in here again, it can't slip down into the boss here. And see that slips right out. It's not supposed to do that. Anyway, once you solder a washer onto the end of this, it will keep it from going in all the way. And then, of course, the keeper ring keeps it on the other side, and it'll keep this gear, it'll keep this gear where it's supposed to be. And then you have to put the whole thing back together again. What fun! But anyway, that's uh, that's this. Uh, as I said, this is the most complicated single play cassette deck that I know of. And uh, uh, it's just something that's going to happen to all these spoon boxes because, uh, like I said, nobody dreamed they'd be around so many years later. And this nylon plastic is just not surviving uh, for the decades that they thought it would when it was brand new. Anyway, there you have it for now.